Hey everyone, it's Jenna Redfield here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be doing an updated look at my content calendar template that I created a few months back. I have actually been using it myself. Um, I recently got a job in March where I'm creating a ton of content, like probably, I don't even know how many pieces of content a day. I'm publishing at least 10 to 15 pieces a day on different platforms. A lot of them are the same, I'm repurposing but it's everything from Reels, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, it's everything. And so I thought today I would show you guys an updated version of my template. I've had to redo it a bit because of how many pieces of content I'm making and I realized that there's a better way to go about my database and my template. I've also added a ton of content that I think is really helpful. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys an update to the content calendar template. I'm also gonna be coming out with videos updating my life os system as well as a video on how to actually uh publish templates for yourself and make some money so i launched my shop i don't even know when maybe late last year um 2021 and started selling on gumroad but i want to talk a little bit more about how to, how to do that i've been selling digital products since 2015 so i'm actually going to potentially have some speakers on about that so i'm really excited all to do that. So anyways, I just wanted to uh, kind of intro this and then we can get into the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more Notion videos and join our Facebook group. Okay, so I wanted to walk you through my content calendar template. I made it kind of basic with the image so you can change that to whatever you want. Um, but you'll see here I have a ton of resources as you scroll through um, and really here is kind of the main area. So the biggest thing that I changed about the content calendar was I actually ordered it by date now and I put all the dates through the rest of the year. The reason that I did this was I used to have it by title of project and what happened was is there was more than one thing being published on the same day. So there'd be like a list of a bunch of different things and they'd all be going to the same date. And I'm like, why don't I just have the date and then see all the different options um, that it was linked to. So now these are now in their own specific databases. So for example, if you click here and you go here, you'll see that my YouTube content is actually within my marketing project. So now I have a list and if you wanted to link it to a specific date, it's over here. So that is the biggest change for me is I used to have every piece of content within the content calendar template like listed and what I realized is it's better to each have their own little thing, but then they all link back to the date that they're published. So that was the biggest change that I did in the last um, you know, update for this. But one of the things I also added here was again, this marketing projects database. This is something that I came up with myself because I, was, I had this whole big pro business projects database. Half of it was actually the projects and half of it was the marketing of the projects. And I was like, why are they all in the same folder? They need to have a separate folder. So now I can have all of the things about each individual thing. So Facebook posts, LinkedIn, PR, TikTok, Pinterest, whatever it is, each of these now has its own project. So you can add additional information within each. So for example, if I were to go to my YouTube channel, I now have a YouTube content database that filters back to the day. So if I go back to here and Say, you know, June 11th, I'm coming out with a YouTube video and it's called content calendar video, which is actually what I'm making. If I add that here, you will see if I go now to the here, you'll see it's now added and it also has a link to where it is on the content calendar. You can obviously add rollups as well. So that's really cool to add. Um, but I just wanted to mention that because with my content calendar template, I'm really thinking about it from a daily perspective first versus a content perspective first. That's really the biggest shift is because what I realized is I was running out of room because I would, I would publish multiple pieces of content every day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm linking it all back to this one day and it would have this huge list. So instead I'm going this way and then sorting it. So you could even have two Instagram posts, which I am doing sometimes, two reels. So I could even list here and link to the reel itself. 
So I just found this is a much better system than what I used to use. And I just wanted to share that, especially if you're creating a ton of content, or maybe you're even creating content for multiple clients, you would have the date here. You could even have like Instagram post four, and then you would link the person. You could even have as many relational links as you want. So I wanted to mention that because that was a big, big, big change on this template. If you go down here, um, you know, I have additional things, marketing goals, published content. Um, I just wanted to mention that because it's a very, very different way to do it than I used to. But again, for all of these, these can all link as well. So you could even add those to the specific content. So if you wanted to start filling out the content like it was here before, that might be an option as well. So I just wanted to share that quick walkthrough um, of the big change that's happened. Um, and then we can also go through some other things that we can look at in a second. All right, so I'm gonna be walking you through, I've even updated this since I last was on camera, um, all of this, this different parts of this and how they all work together. So let's start with marketing goals and campaigns. So this is really where you choose your goals. So for example, I wanna reach 4,000 email subscribers. Again, this is an example. You can see what project that's for. If it's for an actual product that you're selling, so if you wanna sell 100 courses and your goal, that's a marketing goal for you, um, that's actually part of the offers call to actions business projects area. So this is more of like the actual marketing itself because building an email list to 4,000 email subscribers isn't really an end goal for selling. It's more of a vanity metric for within your own marketing. But selling 100 courses, that's actually sales. That's you know selling something that you want. You can write where you're currently at and the target and it will actually update the progress um, as well, which is really cool. So this is really where you wanna figure out what your marketing goals are. The next area is the brand assets. So you can put your favorite fonts, colors, logos, icons, headshots. If you're needing those consistently and wanna download them, you can put them in there. Then we've got the quote bank. So this is helpful if you just need a place to put all of your quotes. It's just a blank table that you can add quotes. I think it's helpful. I do a lot of quotes on Instagram. We also have a place where you can store hashtags. Now for me, one of the nice things is that, you know, I actually usually copy my hashtags from my Apple notes, but this is great if you wanna have like a whole database and then even tag them based off of the type of thing. So for example, if you're doing a local post, is this a local hashtag, then you could tag it like that. For the CRM, these are your clients. You can tag them if you're actually doing a project for them. That's something you can do as well. So you've got, you know, here, a very similar thing. For the um, testimonials, uh, this is great to have those if they're Google testimonials or video, you can have them listed and then you can link back to the client as well. And then we've got companies you've worked with. So this is just again, like a CRM. For marketing resources tools, this is a great way to not only list the apps that you use, but also if there is a book or you know, a uh, website that's helpful. It's a great way to just store all of that. And then we move into kind of how to organize your content. So one of the best things that I learned is, you know, your content needs to be one of the six following inspirational, educational, conversational, promotional, entertainment slash trend or connection. They kind of explain a little bit. I always like to then assign a day for that. So Monday could be inspirational, Tuesday, you know, so you can choose for yourself. And then over here we have specifically the posts that will line up and I'll show you guys when we get to those individually. Then you've got content types. So what kind of content is it? Is it a guide, a list, an opinion, et cetera, et cetera. And that's just something you can select for each piece of content for content ideas. All of this is actually based, I have put it here on the idea, Endless Idea Generator by Dickie Bush and Nicholas Cole. So you can see they have, you know, every idea should come from one of these. And so over here, I've got all the different, you know, types of content. And then specifically the posts will be linked to it once you start adding those. The daily themes, like I mentioned, this goes back and forth with the content buckets. So you get, it will show up. And these, these are gonna be filled out once you actually select them. And I can show you guys that. Credibility, again, it's one of these three based off of the endless idea generator. 
Then we've got your business. Um, so these are like the these are like what you're trying to sell. So when you come up with marketing and content, you're trying to sell something usually. So these are what you are trying to promote. And then finally, we've got audience and topic. You can fill this out if you want to have more of like that uh, traditional, uh, you know, who is my audience, that sort of thing. So I actually moved this down. So this is actually, I, I, I set it into content. So we've got Instagram, email, Google My Business, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook. You can also add Twitter. I didn't add that one. Um, just because tweets to me are much quicker and they're harder to schedule. So these, you know, to me, it's not as much content as some of these other ones. Um, but you can definitely add Twitter if you want to or whatever other social media platform. If you're using Snapchat, if you're using, um, I don't even know what the, or what there is anymore. Um, if you're using something else, that's another option. But these are the main ones that I've seen. Um, I also down here have some other ones, um, you know, website, if you're doing ads, um, blog, podcast, whatever you're you doing, these are just the ones that I personally have. So then you move down here and we've got, you know, by date, like I mentioned, I switched to that format. And then now you can see I have set up, you know, example posts for each day. So if you had a Google My Business post, a LinkedIn post, all of them show that day. Then over here, we've got, you know, the, the date that it's coming out and then the status. So I try to make this a little simpler than it was before. And then we'll go into all of them. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an example. So if I go into Instagram now, um, this is what it'll look like. So if you have an idea for an Instagram post, you can put it here. Then over here, what you're gonna do is you are going to link it to the day. So whatever day you think it'll come out, that's kind of how the calendar will work over here. Then you're going to have a tag. So is it a reel, a story, whatever you wanna have. You can add like hashtags. So you can even have a hashtag group if you'd rather instead of individual hashtags. So you could make that for yourself. Again, so you'd select a content type. So let's just say it's an opinion. The content idea is, let's see if I just type something in, let's say it's a mistake, um, a call to action. So let's say this Instagram post is promoting my Amazon storefront. Once it's posted, you can post the link. Once it actually has a number of views, you can select, oh, I got 2000 views on that, um, you know, real, whatever it was, let's just call it real. Let's just do example, real about Amazon. And then we've got the marketing resources. So for that one, let's just say if I used a real, I used um, CapCut, which is a software I use now, so I'll add that as a resource. Um, maybe I use Canva to create something. So you can actually just select what you use, credibility. I am the expert. Um, and then the daily theme. So again, if this is like a com promote something, maybe it's a Thursday, you're promoting your storefront. And then the content bucket is again, promotional. So that is what you could do is you would have, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a roll up. So it's actually rolling up from the content bucket, the property. So actually, you know what, give me a second. So I'm actually going to call it the daily themes. So now, I'm gonna delete this. That will automatically pop up. So if I I select educational, you'll see the daily theme will already pop up. So super cool. All right, so that is gonna be Instagram posts. So you will be able to see this. You could also add a view that's, again, like we could add a gallery view for this. We just don't have a lot of content yet. Um, you can add the page cover, the images, whatever you want for that if you'd like to. So again, so now we go back to you know, let's, let's go back to content types and you will now see that under opinion, under Instagram, there is now that example reel about Amazon. So you can actually see how many opinions you've had, that kind of thing with this. So basically I did this with each individual option. So under LinkedIn, I have all the same things. So for each individual post, you will do that. So that way you can see all of your LinkedIn posts, all of the whatever in each category. So that way, but they're all still linked to this main uh, scheduler. So that's a really great way to view it. Um, I think that this is to me the best way, especially if you're 
creating a ton of content, but it's all separate. So you could actually um, have individual plans for each um, project. So that's really cool. So then obviously you can see it in a calendar view. You will see it actually by date. So actually, if you sort the calendar by the published date, you'll see each day. And then um, let me see if this shows up. It might be filtered. Why is this not showing up? Oh, it's because it's May. So if I go to June, you'll see now if I click June 11th, I will see all of the different posts that I'm doing that day. One thing I also wanted to mention, so for example, if we go into uh, YouTube, if you are clicking on it, you might be thinking, well, where, if I put example, if, I, if I'm like, well, what do I, you know, where do I write my description? So I have a YouTube publishing schedule. This is just within the YouTube area. So that's one that you could have. Within all the other ones I actually have, if you open up, you know, an example, I have a content planning template. So this actually helps you plan out um, more of the content, what's the headline, the intro, etc. For specifically email, I have its own one that's actually uh, called, actually, let me go back. So if I were to start a new one, I have one called the email newsletter template, and this is actually really nice. Basically, it's set out, you would write the email here, and this is where you could write it out. And so you'd have that, and then you can move it over to your email software. So again, what I use this for is specifically for planning content. I do not use this to schedule content. You can, I did a whole video on that. Um, I'll, I'll link it up here, but you do still have to, you know, upload all this yourself. This is more, again, for planning and tracking purposes for your content so that you can sort of ideate and uh, write everything out before. Because again, social media is a full-time job. I, I do it literally full-time. And it's a lot of creating content, scheduling it, um, tracking it, what is working, what's not working. And uh, this is definitely something I think will be helpful to a lot of people. So anyways, I hope that this is helpful. This template is $15 in the Gumroad shop and hope you guys like it.